Hello everybody, thanks for joining us. How's everybody doing today? We are joined by Master Ogwe, aka Alex, who helped Hello. Hello, thank you Tudor. Hello everybody. I'm good, I'm good. A bit under the weather today, so I'll be speaking with a bit of a croak. Um, that's okay, because I'll just be asking questions. How are you Tudor? I'm doing great. It's been a long day in uh, the Head Starter team, but it usually is. Uh, so we kind of like grew uh, used to it, right? And um, happy to see everybody here. Um, happy to uh, end the quarter on a high note. And um, uh, excited for what's to come in uh, Q4. I think that uh, from all aspects, Hedera has been thriving from a lot uh, on all angles, right? Whether it's DeFi, NFT, uh, infrastructure, all the pieces are coming into place. And I think uh, Q4 will be exciting for the Hedera as ecosystem as the last quarters have been. But also I think that probably on the macro side of things, uh, there's also some changes to come in the immediate future. So, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, the tides and the uh, overall market sentiment changes as well. And uh, um, the ecosystem that we have been building throughout the bear market will, will come to light. So, um, uh, excited about, about uh, what's to come, uh, to say the least. Thank you, everybody, for joining today. Um, uh, we we uh, are starting to do our AMAs. Uh, back, we were very active on the AMA space, uh, especially at the beginning of the quarter, and um, we we uh, have uh, had quite a few other spaces where we are invitees, whether it's with ecosystem partners, whether it's with the HBAR Foundation. We have been busy and uh, have tried to keep at least one AMA a week. Um, I think at the, at the time being, we're looking to uh maintain amas on head starter once every two weeks tentatively and also uh al alternate these uh, amas with uh, the new series that we have uh, launched last week called the uh, head starter uh, sorry hedera ecosystem spotlight series uh, last week we did have uh, some of uh, the favorite uh, blue chip hedera nft projects uh, together with us uh, Hungry Barboons, um, Creamies, and Dead Pixels, and uh, we uh, we are going to continue to have invitees of the same caliber next week. Um, so, uh, that, with that being said, uh, if anybody wants to uh, jump in throughout uh, this AMA. Um, Feel free to do so. Yeah, we're here to to address any questions that uh, you might have for Head Starter, where we are today, um, what's coming out uh, soon. If there's any clarifications, we can we can help with. Uh, we'll be focusing on answering community questions, uh, which is something that we have uh, generally done, and uh, we we were looking to maintain our transparency in communication. And um, just uh, we, we like to sit down with other Hedera projects uh, to listen what they have to say as well. Um, in this AMAs, this is this is a space for for everybody to to uh, jump in as uh, Head Starter is deeply entrenched in the and uh, committed to the success of the ecosystem altogether. Um, I guess uh, with that being said, anybody feel free to jump in as I mentioned, but um, let's uh, look into some of the questions we have uh, received, Alexi. Hello, Alexi? Ok, 
Okay, I guess uh, it will be one. Oh, there he is. Yep, I can hear you. Hey, dude. Sorry, I think either I or all of us uh, lost you there for a moment. Well, we're back now, so um, uh, if you have any four words before we start, uh, otherwise let's uh, jump into the questions we have received. Fantastic. Well, yep, that was a great intro from you, Tudor, and uh, I just wanted to say how much fun these other AMAs uh, have been that we've been doing over the past few weeks. It has been a while since we've done an AMA like this, uh, so it's nice to just have the space to ourselves again. Um, that's not to say that uh, nobody can jump in, of course, that's what we're here for. If you have any questions, just request to speak and uh, you can shoot them straight at us. But yeah, today we're just going to be answering some community questions that I've gathered here. And we're going to start it off with a couple from one of our Discord users, Webified. Uh, his first question is, what will be the utility of the HST token and when will we start to see it being used? So the uh, first utility that we are offering for the HST token is uh, eligibility to participate in upcoming IDOs. We uh, finally uh, see some um, uh, changes in the sentiment in the market and we believe that uh, some of the first IDOs are right around the corner. And uh, with that being said, um, we also will be rolling out a new profile page, a profile portfolio dashboard, um, three in one kind of um, new page on the Head Starter DAP. And uh, over there, everybody will be able to see um, in which tier they belong. Uh, their eligibility to participate in upcoming IDOs and um, for uh, for the immediate future as we have uh, communicated publicly we will not have multiple tiers rather we will have uh, a certain amount of HST token that will be required by anybody who's looking to participate in the IDO so uh, everybody whether they have X or X plus uh, 1 million will likely have in the same uh, the same chances to uh, get an allocation for the upcoming IDOs. Um, we will be rolling out the tier system as we see uh, more uh, growth in the ecosystem. Um, a similar feature uh, for the USDC uh, pools. And um, we... Uh, as I mentioned, I, we, we believe that um, we'll have a lot more announcements uh, about uh, about this criteria right around the corner. That's awesome and very interesting. And uh, are we going to have this in place for our next IDO tool? Yes. So um, the way that uh, I cannot give any hard commitments at this point. But uh, what we're looking to have is to have um, at least uh, one pool that uh, is um, more open and one that has a certain quota of HST tokens um, for eligibility. That, uh, uh, that amount is something that should be accessible uh, to, to uh, everybody. Okay, awesome. So it's not exactly... Uh, a tier system and you don't use it to purchase your allocation either is that correct that's correct the allocation at least for the first ideos will be uh, um, uh, secured by participants in hbar and uh, the hst tokens will not be consumed awesome well this is a good segue into webified's second question which is uh, actually about the, the tier system. Uh, he was wondering when we will have more info about this. So I think, as I mentioned earlier, we will have a tier system into place um, uh, in, in, uh, in due time. Uh, we want um, at least the first IDOs, the first handful of IDOs to have uh, relatively accessible um, uh, participation uh, eligibility so 
we want to to make sure that uh, it's accessible for people coming uh, into the header ecosystem venturing in from other layer ones and um, we we want to be uh, as open as possible to uh, uh, participants regardless of their um, let's say financial um, potency so um, tiers will be rolled out gradually but uh, at least at the beginning we want to be able to cater for a wider audience okay that's awesome thank you Tudor next I have uh, quite a few questions actually from another discord user Simon Diamond and uh, they mostly have to do with the staking feature uh, that's coming to the Head Start Adapt. And the first one is, do you have an approximate date, and more specifically a month, for when the single-sided staking will be live? So, um, the, 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 the single-sided staking uh, functionality has been something that we have been focusing on developing for quite some time now. Uh, the single-sided staking is very very important for head starter because it is intertwined very deeply with the utility of the hst token and also at the same time with the ecosystem um, uh, rewards program we have uh, as you may know from the tokenomics we have the majority of the uh, tokens allocated in the uh, community incentives pool but this community incentives pool will be replenished through the utility of the HST token gamified on the header on the head starter uh, DAP and uh, toolings. So we want to make sure that this um, this uh, pool of tokens gets constantly replenished, and uh, therefore we we are very very um, uh, attentive the way that we roll out this functionality. We, we can say that most of the um, uh, functionality is completed at this time, and we will be increasingly uh, testing it more, uh, more um, uh, from multiple aspects, but uh, the, the final step would be for it to have an audit. As I mentioned, it's uh, the, the staking mechanism will be relatively complex compared to to uh, other um, uh, more um, uh, common staking um, mechanisms. But nonetheless, we'll be looking to at least uh, uh, complete uh, the start of the audit. I would say over the past uh, over the next couple of months. So um, an approximate date that we'll be having uh, a more uh, clear date for, for the release of the staking functionality, which is mainly single-sided staking uh, and uh, some, let's say, uh, stuff that we haven't announced yet uh, will be coming out this quarter for sure. So. Um, Stay tuned for that. I'm, I'm very excited for uh, us rolling out this uh, feature and I think that uh, it really ties in well to the overall uh, ethos of Head Starter, which is uh, utility and uh, uh, bringing value to the ecosystem. Well, that's great. Uh, very smart of you two to, uh, to not give a specific date there. I know uh, we like to keep our promises but you guys will definitely be hearing more about this in the fourth quarter. And the next question is, what will be the approximate APY for the staking? Well, uh, the APY will vary depending on the uh, TVL locked in the staking contract. And uh, um, while at the beginning it might be high as uh, as people uh, look to... to um, Take, uh, take advantage of, of the APYs, it might go down. Uh, but what I can say is that uh, you will certainly have the opportunity to boost that uh, respective APY once you commit to the uh, staking smart contract, your NFT as well, your utility NFT. So that can be um, one of the four NFT coins we have um, rolled out and uh, that have been uh, making the rounds on your 
uh, favorite Hedera NFT marketplaces. Awesome. All righty, moving on to the next question. Can you stack the boosts that you just mentioned of the, the OG cards with the Head Starter coin NFTs? Um, we, uh, we are still exploring that functionality. I would like to say yes, but I cannot make uh, a commitment at this point. Yeah, smart man. <laughs> yeah, I believe he's asking because you actually cannot stack the just the head starter coin NFTs to get extra staking boosts. So I think Simon was just curious if perhaps you could uh, stack with the OG cards. So we will see. And Tudor, do you know how much IDEO allocations will be in HBAR? Simon's asking because he'd like to start saving some now. <laughs> well, um, it depends very much on uh, each uh, project's uh, respective strategy. But I would expect that uh, somewhere between uh, uh, $600 and $1,000 should be like a sweet spot of a maximum allocation that uh, projects generally um, are happy to, to roll out. So um, um, although it's, it's something specific, we do have the recommendations that uh, we, we make for these uh, uh, projects. And uh, one thing that we always want to secure for the ecosystem and for the uh, Head Starter community is um, a fair distribution of the tokens and we believe that uh, uh, the, the more people that can access these tokens and uh, uh, be able to, to participate in the Head Starter IDOs, uh, the better it is for the community but also for the project. Awesome, fantastic Tudo, thank you. And uh, we have here a question from Hedera Evangelist. So I believe this is in relation to our um, token metrics article on Medium, which goes over the uh, unlocking schedule for the HSD token. And uh, Hedera Evangelist was just hoping you could explain a bit more the token vesting, the release schedule and the strategy behind it. Yeah, so as Head Starter, we have been very protective of our tokenomics and uh, we have been very conservative from a few aspects when we have uh, looked into uh, partnerships, um, advisors, strategic partnerships, uh, the way that we allocate liquidity and uh, also the funding. <clears throat> this is all um, uh, in order to, to be um, attentive and careful with uh, uh, our token holders. And um, we have been, um, let's say, uh, uh, transparent when it comes to the token release schedule, each, uh, each uh, respective categories, uh, cliffs and vesting periods. And uh, we do have those two aspects there that are important. One that is the talk that at a certain cliff a token is distributed or a token is unlocked. Now, the difference is that whenever a token is unlocked for a particular um, uh, vesting uh, period uh, for any respective category, um, there is an option uh, that those tokens will be used, but uh, there is no commitment beforehand that they will be used. And whichever tokens are not being used uh, from the tokens that are being unlocked, they are being cycled back into multiple as into multiple uh, categories from the tokenomics, including the uh, ecosystem rewards uh, fund. So uh, this is this is one of the important uh, things that I believe that uh, Heather Evangelist will be happy to hear that um, all the all the unlocks as well as all the utility of the HSD um, token throughout the Head Starter DAP. As uh, explained earlier, a portion of those will be cycled back into the Ecosystem Rewards uh, Fund. And um, therefore, we want to assure a circularity of the uh, 
ecosystem funds into this uh, rewards program to make sure that the people who stake HST token will uh, uh, not suffer from inflation, but from a constant inflow of, uh, of uh, tokens that are being uh, consumed and uh, uh, cycled in the network. Uh, the, the, we believe that uh, utility together with token velocity make for the right uh, tokenomics. That's awesome. Uh, thank you, Tudor. And it sounds like we can't uh, exactly put out a schedule or, yeah, I suppose dates for when these tokens will be put into circulation and not because, as you said, uh, once they're unlocked, it's unsure if they're going to be used or cycled back into the treasury. Uh, in, that- our, in our Medium article, there is uh, a clear uh, depiction of cliffs, cliffs and um, uh, vesting periods, and uh, the, the again the tokens that are di- being distributed at these cliffs are uh, committed to be entering the circulating supply, while while the ones that are unlocked are not necessarily uh, to be consumed. We do have a estimated distribution. Um, uh, um, uh, schedule um, but that's a worst case scenario um, the the actual scenario will be uh, updated live uh, and uh, you can always check our circulating supply uh, currently on coin coin gecko but uh, increasingly on uh, the head start yeah awesome as well as all the all the head starter wallets you can find that all in the medium article that Tudor is referencing. It's a very, uh, very good read. Alrighty, and moving on to the last question. Uh, before I give this to you, Tudor, I just wanted to let everybody know that we are not uh, going to try and uh, bring this to the hour mark. We're going to answer everybody's questions. So if you have anything you'd like to ask us, be sure to request to speak and we will answer your question. Alrighty, Tudor, do you have any alpha for upcoming features on the Head Start Adapt? Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for planting this question, Alexi. Um, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, the community question from Joe. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's exciting, uh, to, uh, to, to announce that, um, one of the added utilities for the uh, HS, uh, HS Head Starter NFTs, utility NFTs, uh, will be that uh, participants, uh, sorry, token holders of uh, the OG NFT uh, cards, whether it's Select or Legacy, together with the holders of the Head Starter NFT coins, uh, exclusive gold, silver, and bronze. Will be benefiting from for early access to new features of the Head Starter DAP uh, before they uh, go into production. So um, there will be a separate instance where they will be exposed and able to to uh, connect and to try out these features. Uh, Head Starter believes that the strength of uh, our product lies in our. Um, communication with the community and we wanted to make sure that our most avid supporters uh, have access to the new features and are able to provide their feedback and uh, their opinions on uh, the functionalities before we roll roll them out. So that's something that we've we've been working on in the background and uh, uh, this is, uh, we believe, uh, an, an important characteristic uh, an important announcement to be made uh, especially taking into account that uh, there will be um, a respective amount of uh, new features being rolled out on the head starter dap this quarter we do have uh, also um, as uh, people might know the um, quarterly and monthly meetings with the uh, OG NFT holders. So uh, we did have our first uh, meeting with our legacy OG NFT holders last month as the perks of this uh, utility token. 
And uh, we do have uh, the next one. I believe it is scheduled tentatively right now on the 4th of October with the uh, Legacies again and with the uh, Select OG group. Um, the utilities of these uh, tokens are that uh, they allow access to these, um, let's say, advisory calls once a week, once a month and once a quarter, respectively. Um, there is some uh, some other functionalities that we are rolling out on the Head Starter DAP uh, as well, uh, and we're 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 very excited, specifically on uh, a functionality that we are calling launch pools, and they are ways for uh, Head Starter projects that are part of the accelerator to be able to tap into some early funding so that they can continue their development until they reach mainnet. Um, I believe that's uh, a fair amount of uh, alpha, would you say, Alec? <laughs> I think Jar is going to be really happy with that. <laughs> Thank you, Tudor, on that. That's, uh, that's great. That is a lot of good alpha in here. And that about wraps it up for all the questions that I was able to gather from the community. Again, if anybody here um, has a question they'd like to ask, Tudor is all he is. But otherwise, uh, I think we're okay to wrap it up, Tudor. I do believe uh, there was a question for uh, from up of, uh, on the general group on Discord. Um, so I think we addressed. Yeah, apologies. Uh, did this just come in? We, I think we did address expectations for the first uh, IDO, um, and uh, how many projects are in the pipeline? I would say that um, I cannot I cannot divulge exact numbers, but uh, what I can say, again, as uh, uh, announced uh, during the uh, HBAR Foundation pitch event at the beginning of the month. Uh, there are one more than 100 uh, projects that uh, the Head Starter team has engaged with over the past uh, uh, few months, and uh, we see an increase increased number of uh, projects that are uh, coming from other ecosystems, whether it's from Solana, uh, Ethereum, Phantom. Um, a lot of them are exploring and looking to launch on. Uh, Hedera, so um, I trust that the builders will continue building and uh, uh, we're, we're going to continue to uh, see some exciting uh, applications, whether it's DeFi, whether it's, let's say, Web 2.5 applications. Uh, th there'll be a lot of them coming to Hedera in the near future. Some are in stealth mode, some are uh, relatively more pro uh, public today. And... Um, I think the final question was if there's any new members in the HDA coming up. That's uh, that's an important point that uh, we need to to touch upon. Um, we have been making some uh, uh, important progress on the HDA front, and uh, we believe that um, there will be some very very exciting announcements from from that uh, part of the world in the immediate future. So. Um, Stay tuned for that, uh, and uh, yes, there will be uh, more uh, members rolling out into the HDA in the immediate future. But not only that, we believe that the work groups that will be funding that that will be funded through the HDA and the work that uh, the HDA will be putting for the header ecosystem will uh, will be monumental. Shout out to our HDA uh, partner in the spaces today, uh, Stader, Stader Hedera. That's very cool. And apologies to APPH for missing your question, buddy, in the Discord. I uh, hadn't kept my eye on it. That's my bad. But great questions. Very excited about all the projects that we're currently talking to. And also about the HDA news that you said we have coming up soon. Yeah, 
the 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 bear market is for building and uh, when uh, when the tourists in the crypto industry are coming back uh, on i believe that uh, uh, the header ecosystem will be primed to receive them awesome well to finish it up here if uh, nobody else wants to chime in i will have to it's my obligation to ask uh, the community's questions. We have one here from the Master of Cream. Um, I believe I already know the answer, but he's asking when boom. When boom? When boom. Uh, that's not a question that we can address. On <laughs> <laughs> but we do appreciate everybody. Uh, <laughs> We do appreciate everybody's questions. We are at the half hour mark, so um, uh, we, uh, we we were looking forward to having the Twitter Spaces with the um, header uh, ecosystem spotlight uh, 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 Twitter Spaces next week, and uh, looking forward to uh, bringing forth and discussing, dissecting some other exciting header projects. That's it for us today. Yeah. Thank you very much, everybody, for your time. And we're looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Yep. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for joining. And thank you, Tudor, for your time. Bye-bye, Ishmael. Bye-bye.